So friends, we are driving through the back roads right here to a little stadium that Elvis and Scotty and Bill played at in 1955. 1955. They say Elvis playing at the football field. But I'm nearly at the field. And ate the, at the Blue Grill Gill. He ate at the Blue Gill in 1959. Everybody knows that. There it is. That's a big old place. Oh, yeah, the uh, South Alabama place here now. There's the original open the entrance. Yep, I can see that. So this is called Lad People's Stadium. And Elvis played here. So we're gonna cruise up real quick, see if what we can see. And we might even fly the glory. Now they've added on to it since then, but this metal is all original. Right? I would think so. That looks like the Popo. So Elvis did play here. Yes, indeed he did. So I'm gonna send the glory up real quick. Hopefully we're not close to an airport or anything. The so friends, this was Lad Stadium. This was shows on May 4th and May 5th, 1955. This was the fourth stop on a three-week tour with Hank Snow's Jamboree that began in New Orleans on the 1st. Elvis, Scotty, and Bill performed here two nights in a row. And Jimmy Roger Snow, Hank Snow's son, who actually roomed with Elvis on this tour, tells a story in his book about Elvis being chased here. At the end of this, after this drone footage, I'm going to let you hear from Jimmy a little bit about it. He's still with us, and he was here at this place. Imagine them being set up on the 50-yard line right here in this stadium and hearing Elvis and Scotty and Bill, along with all these other people play. But Jimmy describes a specific night or a specific show here where Elvis is just being chased by girls. And keep in mind, this is 1955 early. He's only been out less than a year. By 1956, he couldn't walk down the street, mid-1956. This is May 1955. It happened right here. So let's hear what Jimmy has to say about this. Check this out. A little side note was Bear Bryant's very first game as the head coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide happened right here, September 1958, and some of the bleachers collapsed and about 70 people were injured in this stadium. And they lost, by the way, to Louisiana. You told me a story about being in Mobile, Alabama, or it was in your book. Do you recall that? It was called Lad. It was a football stadium. And you mentioned something about trying to run interference or something where the people were chasing him there. Do you recall that? Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's the same story. Outside on the 50-yard marker. The interesting thing about that is that he always created uh, mayhem, can I put it that way. And they'd chase him to the dress rooms. Now, all of us would hang around the stage because one's going to follow the other. Got that? Mm -hmm. So those band members that are there, those of us that are going to go after him or just got through, we're out there on the 50-yard line with 2,000 chairs out in front and the rest are in the bleachers. We're talking about some pretty, pretty big crowds. Yeah. Okay? This guy is going to incite them like you wouldn't believe. So when he gets through doing his job... He's not going to be able to just walk off and go. 
they chase him to the dressing room. They want to get a piece of Elvis. And, <laughs> and not only are they going to chase him, but if they couldn't get to him, they'd grab any band member. That's the closest thing, right? <laughs> Which also meant us as well, because we were part of the show. We worked with the Elvis Presley. So they're going to chase us too. Well, I always joked when I was an evangelist, I'd tell that story and I'd say, uh, well, I'd run a little slower than the rest. <laughs> <laughs> so I could, they could catch me. Flew Sackley chicken, friends. Their chickens have fingers. Viger High School right here, friends. Elvis, Scotty, and Bill came and played here in this auditorium right here. This was a school assembly. And what ended up happening was there was a guy here that was a bivocational Baptist preacher or a bivocational bi bi preacher that happened to be in the assembly. And he thought what Elvis was doing was so lewd, he went to the office and had the principal come shut it down. The principal closed the, the, the curtain after about 30 minutes. And Elvis had played the fair the night before. And then him and Scotty and Bill came and played right here and got shut down. This is in Pritchard, which is right outside of Mobile. Alabama. And part of the story is that Elvis told an off-color joke. Once they were asked to leave, they were trying to explain to the students what happened. One of the students stood up and said, okay, well then we're out of here. And basically the whole assembly stormed out of the building. They never got their money back. They never got a refund, even though the concert was cut short. Happened right here. So twice in June of 55, Elvis and Scotty and Bill played at Curtis Gordon's Radio Ranch. And the day after the high school, they played at the Radio Ranch again. And Trey has been here and found the spot. Sadly, it is gone. It burned down early on. But he went out here in the country and figured out where he believes it was. There's just so little of any kind of records about it that it's hard to tell exactly where it was. But we're going to take you to where we believe it was. Was. But this would have been 1955, so that's 45, 65, 67 years ago down. that Elvis was here. Right here. See where these trees are? Yeah. That's where I put it, right here in between those trees. Okay. So right in here is where we believe that that club was. It was a, it was a, a, a very popular, famous club by a local singer with a band. And it would have been right here. So you looked at historic I'm aerials. I looked at historic aerials. It's either here or there was something here over here in this area. Okay. And like you said, there's no pictures of this place that I have found yet. Yeah. So I haven't put the story out. We'll have to keep looking and see if we can figure it out. But this is where I put it based on the information that I is that's out there about it. Okay. And they are there is two buildings that was in the historic aerials. It's beside this school. I cannot read that name of that school, but yeah, you can see the, it in the um, video. Dr. Robert E. Gilliard. Gilliard Elementary. So it's beside Gilliard Elementary. Right, school. right now, Billy, if you go in between these, yeah. we're in inside the the building right here. I can almost when the wind's just right, you can hear his songs and smell aqua velva in the air. And it's just hard to believe that Elvis played right there. Yeah, and they play here three times at least. You know, it's mm -hmm. bad, but it is. But what a great place. Yeah, to, this to is find. really cool. I mean, I know the building's not there, but it's still the land. And sometimes we have to just stand on the land. That's right. It's just a few more pieces of that Elvis puzzle, friends. So my friend Jimmy Roger Snow will be speaking Elvis Week 2022 on August the 12th at 5 p.m. Jimmy was on tour with Elvis, rode in the car with him and roomed with him, 1955. He stayed at Graceland, 1958. Went on to become a preacher and still is a preacher today. Come here, Jimmy. Ticket link is at the end of this video. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.